So hello, 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 brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Worshippers Retreat. My name is Rhonda, and I pray you all are having a great evening thus far. Um, so the title of this video is Death of Public Figures, Celebrities, Pastors, and All the Above. So um, I believe that this was Monday of this week. I was praying with my sister and... Um, you know, a lot of times when we're praying, she'll have visions and I'll have visions. And um, in this particular vision, it was really quick. And it was nighttime and I was in many of my dreams and visions that I have now. I'm always watching brothers and sisters. And so, like, I could see I was I don't know what I was sitting on. But I know I was just sitting down and I was viewing. Um, I was in the midst of the air viewing stuff. I could see over my childhood home. And it was, like I said, it was nighttime. But I still could see. And so I'm looking towards the west of where the neighborhood uh, is at. and um, But I'm looking up in the sky. And so I posted a video entitled death of freemason pastors and in that video I, I talked about how i saw um major pastors uh being their spirits being taken from their bodies and it, like they're being siphoned up into um just in the in the in the sky like um death was just taking them well i saw similar in this vision right here brothers and sisters so except instead of me seeing like their spirits being taken out of their bodies. This time I saw pictures floating in the sky when they were going one after the other. And when I saw their pictures, their headshots, that was their life being taken. And so I know I remember see, seeing rappers. I saw, uh, again, famous pastors. Um, and, and they weren't only mega pastors. They were like, uh, pastors of smaller congregations too. But all of their faces, uh, brothers and sisters, weren't visible. The Holy Spirit was just telling me this right here. And so, like I said, I would see, some of them would be kind of blurry, but I would, I could still see like a headshot. Like their pictures just floating upward in the sky. And um, I guess like a picture you would put on um, like someone's obituary. But the last face I saw, brothers and sisters, I recognized this face. And the face that I saw was George Lopez. And if you all, if you haven't heard of George Lopez, he's a, a Mexican-American. He's a comedian. And I was just like, wow, him? And he was the last face that I saw, but the, but the only face I really recognized. Like I said, I just had him knowing from the Holy Spirit that the others were major rappers. I have a good, I, I have a good idea who one of the rappers were. And yes, he's, he's a big, he, he's a, a, you know, pretty big deal to some young people, but I'm, because I'm not sure, 100% sure I can't say it, but I can say for a fact that I saw George, George Lopez. And so when George Lopez died, brothers and sisters, my attention turned into the, turn in the uh, vision to in front of me. And I looked and well, and I looked down and uh, I saw, um, Cause it, it was like my childhood home is a field in front of the house. They were st sitting on the road in the street and they, I saw Mexicans. A lot of Mexicans were weeping over him. Like they held him in high regard and, um, they were, they were really heartbroken over his death. And one by one, brothers and sisters, a lot of the Mexicans in the United States started going back home. Now, it wasn't just because of George Lopez's uh, death. They were pretty heartbroken over that. But something major happened in the United States where the Mexicans was like, it's not worth being here no more. All of them, brothers and sisters. That's what the Holy Spirit was telling me. And droves started leaving the United States. And, um... He hasn't, y'all hasn't told me yet what that is. Um, I've heard other prophets speak on similar topics, but if I'm just, I, I can only say what I've saw. 
Um, I know that they were heartbroken and I know they, they weren't being treated right. I can tell you that much, but something happened to where all of them started doing the exodus out of the United States and they went back home to Mexico. So yeah, that's all the dream brothers and sisters as days go by. Um, a lot of a lot of celebrities are going to be dying like I'm talking about big name figures because that's what like I said I couldn't see all of their faces but I just knew big name pastors rappers um other musicians like big names in every industry in America they just they just started dropping like when when one person died it wasn't that long seconds later, another announcement was, was made and another announcement was made and another announcement was made. And so I knew people were overwhelmed. Like, what is going on? But it's the judgment. It's, you know, y'all is, is going to take a lot of them. Um, and as always, he, he takes righteous, the righteous home at, along with the wicked. He takes uh, both of them. But I just saw a lot of big names being taken away and people didn't know how to handle it but i definitely knew know that the mexicans were very 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 heartbroken and some like i mentioned something major happened so um life-changing that they got tired and fed up of being over here brothers and sisters and they just started leaving and i could feel their sadness it was like overwhelming like I always tell people, I love Mexicans. Um, I know some people probably say they haven't had the best. Because uh, we have ignorance in every culture. Like it's not ignorance. It's just not, it's not just, uh, or, or racist, racism isn't just, um, you know, uh, in one ethnic group. Like we have ignorance all across the board. But my experience, I love, I love, 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 love uh, Mexicans. I had a Mexican professor and they're very family oriented. Um, I had five family members that said Mexicans had have taken them in and fed them um, quicker than their own people when they didn't have food. They, did, they knew, they just knew that they didn't have anything to eat. So they fed them every day. And as a result of it, I thought this was neat. It's like they would play with the uh, Mexican children. And um, uh, as a result, like my family member learned Spanish and can speak it almost fluently because from being around the family, um, even with my, my uh, professor, sweet, sweet lady, sweet lady, um, and I haven't, I haven't seen her in ages. Like she was willing to go above and beyond when I was having a hard time to help me out. No questions asked. I didn't ask her brothers and sisters. I did not ask her, but I have, <laughs> I've just always had a, a soft spot in, spot in my heart for them because they are, like I said, they're very family oriented. They'll, if they have it, they'll give you most, the ones I've met will give it to you even tipping. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, if I used to work in retail and I don't even know what I'm telling this. I, my first job in retail, uh, a lot of them would come to my register and now I couldn't accept the tips brothers and sisters because now uh, other, other one of, um, others, in the building accepted the tips but when i tell you that they used to tip well i'm not talking about no little a little bit of money like they used to tip well and because you know i didn't want to get in trouble i'm like no i can't take it and they wouldn't take no for an answer they would leave the money right there and walk off and also i think they thought i was <laughs> i was mexican I don't know. People have, I've heard some of every, just about every ethnic group except for, uh, Asian and, and, <laughs> and people have thought I was, and I'm just like, nope, I'm, I'm not, but you know, you could be my brother and sister. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's, you know, just a sidebar.
But when I saw them in the vision, brothers and sisters leaving, um, yeah, it really made me sad because I could feel their sadness. Like they had really had enough. And y'all cares about, the father cares about all of us. And he don't want us mistreating um, each other. And unfortunately, sometimes, a lot of times animals have more compassion for each other than we have for each other. And that's not good. Because we're supposed to be the higher species. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, but that's the vision that I had. Um, brothers and sisters, uh, as time draws closer to the coming of, uh, the Messiah, we're going to see a lot of stuff and I'm going to keep warning for you to repent so you can be, can you, so you can be spared in a destruction of America, brothers and sisters, mystery Babylon. And here's the thing, um, if you don't know the father, you need to come, come to know him. You need to come to know him. Like he, you, you really need to come and get to know him and accept sal- the gift of salvation. Be baptized for the remission of repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Time is not long. And okay, this is what I wanted to say. I've have I have other videos where I talk, I speak on how I saw a lot of young people dying too, brothers and sisters. Just, it won't just be them. The Lord had me hovering, my spirit hovering, hovering, and this was a dream outside of it just in the air. And he told me to run to come watch. And so I I remember seeing these two young men just racing their car, driving really fast, brothers and sisters, and they had um, secular music on, like rap music on. And for the believers who think that the father does not care about you listening to rap, about you listening to R&B and all this other secular music, heck, even some gospel, because a lot of... Unfortunately, a lot of the gospel artists are no better. They sold out too. The father cares. I want you to know that he cares. If it does not bring glory to the father, he cares. Because your feet and your spirit junk. But anyway, the Holy Spirit told me in a dream. He said, they, they, I told them, I warned them around it to give their life to, to me. You, you hear that they're listening to this secular music and it was this cursing and they were laughing real laughing and laughing and laughing and the next thing i know brothers and sisters they had a head on collision and there i saw their bodies being taken and before the holy spirit told me that he was going to take them i just i knew and i started crying and screaming i said please no no have mercy he said no i've already had mercy i've already had mercy on them Rhonda. no and i saw their spirits leaving their bodies and then I saw another car and I saw classmates of mine, old classmates of mine, their lives were being taken and I, I could hear people and saw people on the phone saying this person died and you got another phone call and this person died and you got another phone call and this person died until the people were feeling overwhelmed brothers and sisters. So where do you have time to linger in sin? You don't. Many of us will lose family members. I've already lost a lot of family members. Y'all had me to go warn my family, the the family members, some of them before they died to give their life to him, to repent. Else he would take their life. And uh, you know what happened? A month later, he took them. I had four, four within months, four family members Possibly more that died. And he told me it would be him judging them. Because he had given them chance after chance to get their lives together. You can't live any kind of way, brothers and sisters. It's just uh, appalling to me to see so many people call themselves uh, Christians. And they act worse than the world. Many of you are getting your, your arm tattooed up. 
That's not of God. You go to clubs and, and, and that's how is that bringing glory? My daddy used to talk, tell me, he said, when he first got saved, he would ask himself this question. Can you do it to the glory and praise of God? And if you can't, you don't need to be doing it. And you have to realize that you carry the Holy Spirit with you and you don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. And a lot of y'all are grieving the Holy Spirit. You think that cursing is okay. I understand. Sometimes words might slip out, but you got to go to the Father and say, create in me a clean heart, Psalm 51 and 10, and renew a right spirit within me. You have, have women, married women at that, wearing short dresses. They can't even bend over in them. And I'm, I listen. The Lord have to rebu- had to rebuke have to rebuke me uh years ago. But I got myself together. But I was never one to want to show it all. But we we have to repent, brothers and sisters. Time is not long. He you he you don't know. Tomorrow to the next second is not promised. Many of you are in marriages and you're cheating on your spouse. Many of you are single believers still having sex and it's either you're going to live right or either God going to take you out of this world. That's what he told me in the dream. I've had to warn my, some more of my family members, some, some of my siblings that he, and I had to tell them the Lord said that if you don't give your life to him, because you know better, he's going to take you out of this world. Cause you're not going to be in this world, live in any kind of way. And worship and 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 and, and basically because it ain't it's either you living for God or you living for the for the devil. You living for the most high or you living for Satan. That's just that's it. That's it, brothers and sisters. Now you got people changing their gender. Try to, but if you were born with an XY chromosome, you're gonna die with them. You going I don't care, I don't care what society tells you, how wicked Sodom and Gomorrah, aka America is. It does not matter. You're going to have to stand before a just and a righteous God. You got pastors. My God today. Cosign and sin. And it's getting worse. God says repent. The father says repent. And come out of, come out of her, my people. So you don't take in Babylon's judgments. I wasn't even planning on saying this, but, but I, I walk in obedience to the most high. I'm going to always tell y'all to repent. Always. I don't care if you get tired of hearing me saying it. I, I have a, a job to do as a believer, as a daughter of Yah. I have to warn you guys to come to Christ. Repent while you have a chance because time is not long. There's another virus coming. Worship and he told me this and many other prophets have spoken about this in 20, 2020. He told me this in 2020, in, in 2021, like these past few years. He even told me to look at the movie Contagion. I had never heard of it. There will be another lockdown. Many of you have lost family members. One girl I work with, 2020, her family members went, if I'm not mistaken, to her, her uncle's uh, funeral, had COVID. All the family members, eight of the family members that went, died the following week. So where do we have time to play? And if you die, Make sure that you get to spend eternity with the most high. Hell is hot, y'all. You can't repent in eternity once you die. If you die in sin, you're going to rise in sin. And you're going to spend eternity without the father. You're going to be cast. He's going to take hell and cast hell into the lake of fire. You don't want that to be your portion. Give God your life today. Give Christ, come to Christ. Leave these other false religions alone. It's a relationship that he's seeking with you. Not religion, a relationship. 
My God, it's a relationship. He gave his son for you to redeem you back to the father. Why won't you come to him? Why won't you let the beer and the women go? Why won't you let, let the, the, the ungodly lifestyles go? Why won't you let the makeup and the half naked clothing go? Let it go. He's calling you now. He's crying out for you to come, come back to me. So you can be saved from my wrath. Come back to me. Because when, when, when I have to do a video, when hell is unleashed. Many, the Bible say men's heart will fail them. I've seen the things that are coming. Y'all has shown me those things. It's not pretty brothers and sisters. And if you're not found in the ark of safety, you're going to be overtaken. Ezekiel nine, when you get off this, go read it. He gave me a dream about that. That if you did not have the mark of Yah, I saw a lot of church people getting killed because many of you have been warming the pews and being very religious, but you don't have a relationship. Your, your life don't match up with the scriptures, Yah says. You don't know him. So many of you going to hear depart from me. But why you have breath in your body. If I were you I would come to him now. Make your calling and election sure. Never get comfortable thinking. That everything is okay with the father. You better repent daily. And ask him to search your heart. And see if they, there be any unclean way. And you and to lead you into the way. Everlasting. Shalom.